Okay, now I just realized, and, and this is good information, this is why we make the video. Failed to connect. Verify that the ignition is on. to show two things. I'm going to try to show how to shut the check engine light off if that comes on. It's a common thing on MT-09s when you have an issue with the traction control, and I did. I was joggling through the different traction control settings, and a check engine light came on. I looked in a manual, and this was a, this was a while back when the bike was virtually brand new, and I looked in the manual, and they, they do mention right in the manual that you can have a check engine light issue and just bring it to your local Yamaha dealer. Luckily for me, I am a Yamaha dealer, as everybody locally knows. So what I want to do today is show how to do it and what you need to do it. Now, there are other good videos on YouTube that show how to do it. I watched the first one that was ever posted for the 2020. I watched it, I looked at the meter, and I didn't realize there's an adapter you need too. You need the meter, you need the wire, the adapter wire. Now, it may be that somebody, other than the, the, perp, the place I bought this from, which was Amazon, they make a meter that, that adapts without the adapter wire. But for all practical purposes, when you buy one of the check engine light diagnostic tools, if you have a Yamaha MT-09, you're going to need that adapter wire, the four-prong adapter wire. So I, I didn't get it at the same time, and when I ordered the wire, this is something to be aware of, I ordered the wire from Amazon, and the next day I got an email, your thing will be shipped in 30 days. Uh, so I've been looking at this check engine light basically for a month now. In fact, I've got uh, 2,800, 2,700 miles on a bike, something like that. And, and I've been looking at this check engine light, and it's, I've been thinking, wow. Well, I know with the virus, and I know this stuff all comes from China, but let me show how to do it today. It's not a big deal to do it. And what you need to do it, the meter is in the low 20s, the wire is about 15, you need about $35 worth of stuff to do it yourself. I don't know if Yamaha dealers charge you for that, or if you can go to AutoZone, or f I don't know. I want to be able to do it myself, and I want to share that information with you. So the first thing is just to demonstrate what we have, the issue that we have, a relatively simple issue. This is the check engine light, it should not be on. The ABS light, which we don't care about, that goes off as soon as you move the bike. This would go off as soon as you're taking a bike, putting a bike in gear. But, this is the significant one. The, this is supposed to come on if you have a problem with the engine. Now, if I have a problem with the engine, this bike is under warranty, so it's going to go right back to the dealer to be resolved. But right now we don't have, I don't think we have an issue. I think we just have a false check engine light. We're going to find out very soon. Now I don't pretend to be uh, an electrician of sorts or, or to really know about this stuff. I only need to know enough to get this check engine light off. But I have had similar issues with my cars and it's been no big deal to do it. And this is the one I have is a maxi scan. I think it was $22, low 20s, from Amazon, it's MS-308, it's, it's not a big deal, and it's not a, a $1,000 tool or anything. I did notice that some of, the, some of the other models are much more expensive, and there's ones that are a lot more expensive, professionals. We don't need to do, I just want this for in the future, or within my circle of friends, I want to be able to do this. Now, the problem I had the first time, I, I was not aware, and of course it's on me, and this is not my, not my uh, strong point either. I'm just trying to share information that may save you some, some uh, issues. So what happened is I saw the meter, I never noticed that there was an adapter wire, and because the gentleman was showing the codes and everything, I never noticed this on me again. So now, now that I know I need, I, I took the seat off, you need to take the seat off the bike to see, I looked and I had the four four prong and and this obviously is a multiple different shape size everything 
So I knew and right away I needed an adapter. So again, right on Amazon, it's pretty simple to do, and they, more, they carefully tell you which one you need. If you dial up the adapter wire for an MT-09, it pretty much tells you exactly which one to buy. And this is the one, it says right on the little, the little uh, label, four-prong Yamaha. Now, I, it, this took almost a month to get here, and I don't know why, but again, it's not, I'm, I'm sure there is a reason. Okay, you can see one end adapts in, and this is the end you need to adapt into an MT-09. So you do need the wire, and you do, and that's critical information if you're making a video, or other people are making a video. Obviously, this only goes in one way, this goes in here, and now you have the diagnostic tool that's going to read the codes for an MT-09. We're removing the seat on an MT-09. The key is under the seat. Take the seat off, and that exposes where your connection is. Now, I have heard people say that they, when they took delivery of their motorcycle, this was not in the space it should be. It was tucked under the side cover. When I took delivery of this bike, it was right where it should be, as per the manual. There's a little rubber cover that protects it. Of course, you want to take that off and save it, of course. And that is your connector. That's your di on onboard diagnostic connector for the meter. So with the meter connected, you can immediately see you don't need to have the bike running to do this. This is already talking to the motorcycle. And now we need to find the screen we want. And it's pretty much self-explanatory what you want to do. Okay, it's scanning. Waiting for the vehicle to respond. Now, to be honest, I don't know if the bike has to be running at some point in this. I'm just doing what the instructions say. And it's as the bar is going across, you can see what it's doing. Now, I'm interested in knowing how to do this because if I don't have a problem with this, and the problem is random to using the traction control, as they say in the manual, what I want to be able to do is shut this off if it happens a month from now, a year from now, or, for, or any time. And I want to be able to do it for my friends, too. Many of my friends, I'm, I'm not sure what other bikes this would work on Yamahas, but I know it works on the MT-09, and I know the MT-09 has a quirk in the electronics that caused this to happen. Now let's just see how long this normally would take waiting for the vehicle to respond. And I'm not a computer guru and I'm not a technician that knows how to do this stuff. So if I can do it... Okay, now I just realized, and, and this is good information, this is why we make the video. Fail to connect. Verify that the ignition is on. Check if the scan tool is Connector is securely connected. Now, I don't have the ignition on. Shame on me. See, I don't, I don't put, pretend to be an expert. So let's, first I have to get the key out of the seat. That's number one. And let's just see if this is going to be. All right, now the key is on. Let's go through this whole thing. Failed to connect. And let's see what it takes to get that through. So the next step on this, and because I didn't know this right away, I didn't know you have to have the key on when you set this up. You have to connect the wire and have the key on, and then wait for that to happen. So it's basically like rebooting a computer. Now it's got the things, the scroll pattern. I'm trying to get this in focus here. Read codes, erase codes. We want to erase codes. Are you sure? Yes. Turn key on with engine off. So let's see if that works. Okay, I turned the key off, turned it back on, erase codes. Erase trouble codes, are you sure? Yes. Erase done. Press any T, any key. Now I want to do this without a without a, a camera cut. Because again, remember I'm an amateur at doing this, just trying to pass on information. But if you look right now, that was a real life, real time 
turn the check engine light off. And, and I did it on the fly without knowing how to do it. I've tried to pass on everything that's useful. I think you should be able to do it too without any problem. Now with the coat erase, this is another handy little thing to know. Handy. We'll of course save this. These little connectors, you don't ever want to just pull on them. They are delicate, just like the ones that are under the gas tank or the ones on a fuel injection on an R1 that when you, when you pull, if you pull on them without having this totally disconnected, it's going to be a real problem. Now, I don't want to hurt this in any way, but I've really got to pinch that and I don't, what I need is fingernails. Oh, now, being honest, this is one of the things, I, I don't have fingernails long enough but pressing that little, the little tang in, I use the little Phillips screwdriver to get it to unleash. Again, what you don't want to do is just pull on it. It's not going to come off. It has a little safety thing. It's exactly like many of the modern bikes, including the Yamahas. They all have connectors that you need to press down to pull apart. You definitely don't want to just pull them apart. So the last part is I want to put the rubber cover back on just the way it came off. It has a little tang under the seat that this keeps it in place and that will take care of that. It's right in front of where the toolkit lives. That will take care of that. I can get the wire back down there where it belongs. And just putting a seat on next and we're pretty much done here. And that is where that little plug, the OBD plug resides in an MT-09. On other bikes it may be in different spots, but that's where it is. So the total time for this job is just a few minutes. The two things that you need again are the adapter wire, the meter of which there are uh, on Amazon. Any, I got everything from Amazon. These are all available at I'm starting at $20 and probably going way the hell up. But that's basically the two tools you need to shut off the check engine light. Now, we have a little time left in the day. I'm going to go for a short ride for one reason. If that check engine light comes on again and again and again, but I'll wait. If it doesn't come on for a couple of days, I'll toggle through the traction control settings, turn it on and off, see if it comes back on. If it doesn't come back on, even better. But even if it does come back on in the future... I'm now a Yamaha dealer. Now I tried not to leave out any steps. I tried to do it in real time. And so that you could see exactly what was involved in it. Again, I'm not a, uh, a person that works on modern motorcycles. My forte is working on older motorcycles that don't have this kind of stuff. And well, what can I say? I'm learning on the job and I hope I've been able to pass some of that information on to you. So if you have an old RD, this is a 77, the one thing you never have to worry about is you'll be riding along and all of a sudden a check engine light will come on. <laughs> I'm not sure I can use that tool because I've never had a problem with the R1 so far, but that, that same adapter and tool may be useful for, uh, I may have to buy a different adapter for the R1 or for the Kawasaki Ninja, I'm not sure. These bikes might or might not have that onboard I know the Yamaha does. It diagnoses through the speedometer. The older bikes, you never have the check engine light come on uh, on your GS. <laughs> now, I typically ride between 100 and 150 miles. I try to every day that it's reasonably rideable, except if there's ice on the roads or if it's over 200 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. Anyway, that was very nice to be able to turn the check engine light off, and if anybody uh, needs help with that, I'm glad to loan them the tool. I, it's no problem at all. And I love being able to figure out how to do things myself. And I thank all the people on YouTube, one and all, that have made that, all that information available. I've used it to fix ice makers, work on my Volkswagen, shut the check engine light off on the Volkswagen. I'm oh, un, unlimited amounts of stuff. And now we've just added to that knowledge base and I'm, I'm very happy to put my two cents back in. So I hope you enjoyed the video, but if you, if you like to watch bikes, taking a ride, we're going for a short ride right now. It won't be long because we only have about two hours, but 
in our area of the country. We're coming up on fall right now and it's a beautiful time to ride. And we do post video almost every day. So if you're going to stick around, if not, the diagnostic is over and you can just go delete. Very nice riding around without looking at the check engine light. Oh, and it's a beautiful day for a ride. All right, we're starting off the day with no check engine light for the first time in about a month. A nice, brisk fall morning. I think we'll head up to Face and Lakes. It's a nice place to ride. Beautiful fall weather. Well, all through this ride, I'm trying to make sure that check engine light doesn't come on again. Looks like we hopefully have that problem solved. I hope. Anyway, we'll know, but if it ever comes on in the future, at least we know how to do it, and we have the tools. That's what's nice about being a Yamaha dealer. And no matter where you ride, Facing Lakes is a beautiful place. Uh, once again, no check engine light coming on. Now, maybe that was just a fluke, a factory fluke. It's in the manual. I don't know why Yamaha didn't fix it at the factory. And I really do love my MT-09. That whole area up by Face and Lake so worth exploring. And from my house, it's about a hundred mile loop both ways. Well, it turned out to be a pretty good day for our test. Looks like it's going to work out just fine. So far. And no check engine light yet. Wow. Maybe it's my lucky day. It's always a lucky day when that Valentine radar detector saves you bacon. Not a cloud in the sky, beautiful blue skies. Sometimes I wonder this is the best time of year to ride. And we enjoy the back roads on that MT-09. Hard to describe why I love this bike so much. This bike grows on you in a way it's hard to explain. But if you're watching this video, you might even have already have an MT-09. Boy, and they love the twisties.
Well, we got home and there's no check engine light on. Bingo. <laughs> well, I've been, I've been thinking maybe it's going to come back on. Anyway, I hope that's good information you can use if you have. Well, if you have any bike, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, we had a nice ride today. We got something accomplished. We got that shut off. I want to thank all the COVID workers, the healthcare workers that make our life possible and the fact that we're able to go out and ride a little bit during the virus. Thank you guys, thank you very much. So I hope you did enjoy the video. I enjoy making them and thanks for watching. And always wear your gear and ride safe. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow on our channel.